Was this an episode of this podcast ends with you on an off week? What kind of trickery is this? Fear not, young one, for this is a brand new format for this podcast ends with you. Our regular episodes will be continuing to happen every second week, but in those off weeks, we're going to be trying out some new things, starting with a brand new series of This Podcast Ends With You interviews, or Tapui interviews. Starting off this week with our very first guest, Zeta Slow, who we'll be chatting with. And finally, just wanted to make sure that it's clear that this will not affect our regular schedule. There will still be an episode happening this Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Amadeus underscore. But for now, take it away, my friend. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Zeta Slow, and you're watching this podcast ends with you. So today I am the featured guest. We are going to be talking about what are some of my favorite things about Tweewee and things like that. So I hope you guys stay through and watch the whole show. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay groovy, y'all. Peace. Because, you know, uh, I have, uh, I do a sort of content analysis every now and then. Every now and then. Like the song. And uh, I thought, man, people must be sick. Listen to my voice. My Neku, their voices are, uh, you know, their voices are like, uh, are like caramel to my ears. But me, you know, I feel like I feel like you need a second opinion on this whole show thing. You know, so not only did I bring back the usual, of course, Ozma Neku is back in the building. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Good morning. Uh, of course, uh, as well, uh, our second co-host, always in the building, always would never miss any episode for any reason whatsoever. Never. I, I the, the loyalty that she shows to the podcast is pretty incredible. There she is. Myra Zed. Joshua, but I can't be here right now uh, because I didn't read my calendar properly. And, uh, you know, maybe Joshua's not so great after all. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mai. Uh, thank you, Mai, from an undisclosed location. Uh, you know what? Your voice sounds better than you. You know what? You should rest your voice for this one, Mai. You, you just stay there in the corner. You're doing great. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for being here. Uh, incredible, amazing. Uh, Myra Zed, ladies and gentlemen. But that's not Our all. Our host is not salty at all. But but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very special episode. An ex 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 a Zeta special episode. Even this is not your usual. This podcast ends with you shenanigans. We have a guest, and, and what a guest he is. You know him. You love him. My man has created content. For the world ends with you for years. He hit me up as like, Ahmed, I can't let this Joshua propaganda continue on this podcast. It's time for me to step in and support you. And there he is. My man, ladies and gentlemen, my, my new best friend and yours. Zeta Slow, ladies and gentlemen. Can we all give him a, a warm round of applause? Hey, hey everybody. Um, How's it going? <laughs> a, a warm, this podcast, a warm tapui applause. Thank, oh, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. It's, it's, it's going to be a so totally awesome episode. It's uh, well, it, it will be if OBS doesn't crash. <laughs> like that's, that I was, can guarantee you that. That um, that pun caught me so off guard. I felt my shelf sore circuit. Can, you, can can <laughs> let's bring the math jokes down. My head already hurts. Never, <laughs> never. This is great. This is you know you know a funny story before we even get started here. Well, first of all, before we do. Um, let me just address something for our, our longtime uh, viewers and listeners of this podcast with you. It's going to be slightly different. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're doing this on an off week. We usually do. Uh, we usually do the podcast every second week. We're doing this particular episode on off week because chaos is anarchy. That's 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 the way of show. And that's the way we'll be for these episodes. Uh, but yes, we'll be doing sort of shorter, more different episodes of the podcast. This isn't going to be episode six of the podcast, as it were. It's going to be its own thing. It's going to be uh, Pui interviews or Pui interreacts, and they'll be slightly shorter, and they'll be on the different stuff so that we can sort of move out of our usual format, as it were. And with this particular episode, it's going to be an interview. It was that a slow. So uh, we're going to be conversing. We're going to be talking. But we will also 
be taking a bunch of questions uh, from our beautiful, beautiful patrons. Uh, Patreon.com slash TPWI. You can, uh, can uh, donate and you can uh, pledge some money and uh, you can get in on our incredible super secret Angels Plane channel in our Discord. Incredible. The, the, the banter that happens there is unparalleled. I think Barack Obama tried to get into this, to that channel, but I said no. You have to, you have to contribute. It's, it's, you know, we, we, we have, uh, we make no exceptions here on this podcast. Ends with you. Um, not, not, not to former presidents either. Um, Good lord! <laughs> but uh, to start it off, uh, you know what? You know what? Zedislaw, tell the people a little bit about Zedislaw. Tell us, tell us what, what you do, what you got going on. What, you know, to introduce yourself to the people. Oh, hey everybody. It's the boys that are slow. Um, a lot of what I do pertains to YouTube. Um, I make content for the Wardens with you on YouTube, as well as a little bit of fighting game things here and there on that channel. And I've been a Wardens with you fan since the very beginning when the, it came out on Nintendo DS. And I think that's about it. That's all I got for you, really. That's all Short, I got for you. Clean, I like it. You know what? You wanna? You wanna? You you don't want to tell the people too much about you. Well, too bad. We will be, uh, we, we will, the people know you very well by, by the end of this, hopefully. Uh, so we'll be going through some of these uh, questions submitted by our beautiful patrons here for the next, uh, for the first while. However, if you are in chat and you want to ask some questions, please get those questions ready because we will be asking for them, uh, later on. Uh, however, comma, I think, uh, I think we'll start with the questions. You know what, Neku? Take it away. I feel like my creative juices have lessened. I feel like that Barack Obama joke really hit super well, and I feel like I'm still reeling from how good that joke was. So you want to ask the first question? While I collect sorry, myself here? I hit on my desk from the Barack Obama joke. I had to face plant so hard. Can you say that again? No. Get your head off the desk. I don't pay you to keep your head on the desk, all right? <laughs> I, Are you, I you sure about that? People. I, don't, I don't actually. I don't, we don't have money. We're broke. Please, please support our Patreon. But please. But please. Please, please ask the first question. So... Zeta, this is a very common question for every Twiwi fan out there, and it's really, really simple. How did you get into Twiwi? Like, where did you, where did you start this journey? How did you get introduced to this? Okay, so this is quite a tale. All right, so um, back in 2009, I remember for Christmas I got quite a few Nintendo DS games. I had just gotten a Nintendo DS in 2009. Don't ask why. Um, so. I had all these different games. I had Sonic Rush Adventure. I had The Wardens of You, whatever that was. And I believe I had a Kingdom Hearts game. So uh, on the DS, that would be uh, 352. Yeah. 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 The one we don't I think talk so. about. I think so. Yeah. I just, I just never know the number on that one. But yes, that one. Um, and I played the other two, but not The Wardens of You. I was like, uh, I don't want to play that one. It wasn't until Young Zeta got grounded and they took all of his other consoles away that he was like, hey, you know, I have this DS right here. What if I found a game that I could play in secret, you know? Hiding so, under the covers in the bed, the classic nine-year-old story. Yes, yes. So that's how I got into the rooms with you. So I would every night, like once everybody was asleep in the house, make sure no one's awake, I would open the DS and to my surprise would be The Wardens With You. Um, so I played through that game probably, I was grinding for about three months, so I played through that game probably about What did you do? Did you rob a bank? <laughs> like, uh, no, I, I got a C. Wow. I got a C. You got oh, you a C? Got, you got, you got a C? Three months? And I, 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 I got rewarded months. for Cs. <laughs> that's, how, <laughs> that's how low my, my parents' expectations were. But uh, oh, you know what? I get is... that. Holy, that's a that's one hell of a grounding for getting a C. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, you don't want to set that precedent going into high school that you can just get a C and be like, yeah, that's great, because you know they Dude, want I you to go to high school with you know? a C average. <laughs> oh, I still got I still got some in high school, but you know, up until that point, uh, get C's was the, a no go for me. So when I got that first C, I knew it was over at that point. So. I'm playing the Wardens with you. I played it over and over and over. And this was at a point where I was very like vulnerable in my life. You know, I'm growing up. I'm in my t young teenage years. I think like now about 13, 14. What are you talking so, about? The teenage years are the, the happiest, most. Uh, you know what? I think I had the most self-esteem when I was a teenager, really, if you think about it. 
<laughs> I think, I think Ahmed, I let's not <laughs> do this joke. <laughs> oh, let's oh not goodness. say that high school is the best time of your life for most people. Let's just move on. <laughs> okay, continue. High school was wild, but yeah, so it had all these different characters and all these different people. So at that time period, I was going through a time in my life where I was very closed off to people, which can kind of relate to the main characters of the game, right? Neku. So he goes throughout the game and he learns more about not only himself, but the world around him and things like that. So it's helped me create a different perception of the world around me as well. And I'm eternally grateful for playing that game. Yeah, the one thing that's just through line with all of the with everyone that we talk to about Twiwi is everyone's like it helped me figure out myself, and that says something about the power of this game in people's heads. It just makes me really happy to hear. And I wasn't going to play it until I got grounded. So thank. And then you had no options, and then you fell into it. Yeah, like five times, and it was amazing. <laughs> like I think I'm with you on that one. Like, like it's like yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say like the pin system. I mean. It's so in-depth that you just have time to just think about, okay, I'm going to do this this time. Next, I'm going to do this. So it basically filled up my night. Yeah, there's so much There's so much you could do. Like, um, I think certainly, like, for me, it was kind of slightly different because, like, I was just, like, I was just, I was just in, like, I think it was Emirates or, yeah, I think it was Emirates at the time. And, like, we just... You know, I think I think it was discounted. Actually, it was one of these discounted characters. I was like, sure, this one. Um, it looked kind of cool, and uh, I picked it up and I got to. There's one scene in particular, um, in the game, uh, specifically, and I think I I always thought it was day three. I think it's actually day two. Uh, the Shiki choking scene, that one. That's day two. Um, that's day two. That's day yeah. two. Um, that. That happened, and as soon as I saw that, I was hooked. I was I was insta hooked, like with the story, like, and I really want to continue. And then the gameplay was super di- like I to this day I still love really dynamic combat games, like games that let you approach what um, challenges in your in the way you choose. I love that. It's the reason why I love DMC. It's the reason why I love a lot of games, but it's especially the reason why I love the Worlds with You combat. Unless um, you're fighting pig noise. Unless you're fighting pig noise, they tell you, oh, you can only oh, use the big ice sprite here. I'm like, <laughs> fucking, all right, then. You know what? Just give me my thousand yen. Um, but, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, for me, like, it was it was definitely, that's initially the reason why I got into it, but then, like, the story sucks me in, which, it's not actually very, usually story is, not is like, one of the things I care the least of in most games, but it's where we really pulled me in with the story, which is, which is kind of unique. What about you, Neku? I'm... I guess I'm one of the few people I know that saw it in a Nintendo Power magazine because it was going on the DS. And I saw it, and as the anime watcher as a teenager I was, I was like, this looks really cool. Why don't I just try this out? I distinctly remember my brother looking at me and going, you're not going to be able to play that. It's going to be too complicated for you. My brother's seven years older than me, by the way. So I get the game, and he's right. The game was stupidly complicated to play, but then I got so absorbed into it, I started failing tests, and my parents had to take it away from me for a month. Oh. <laughs> Even back then, you were super obsessed. See, this, this is just what Neku is like, for those of you who don't know. Neku just obsesses over things for a while. Kind of like me, but, very... he's a bit, but, but he's a bit more intense than I am. <laughs> I, I have a very intense tunnel vision, I will admit. When I get into something, I don't fall out of it until I hit the brick wall known as the end of it. Because right. when I finally got the game back and the tunnel vision continued, I 100% of the game in a month. And that includes Esper levels. And for those of you who have gotten the max Esper level, you know how much of a pain that is. It is. It definitely Massive is. Pain, yeah. Like, I think it was around like my fifth playthrough or or something like that, that I started to go for the max rank. And I'm like, why is this? This takes a very long time. And I kept having like pins level wrong and things. It's literally a situation of you have to have a perfect deck. You have to be able to be every fight in under a minute and you have to make sure you're getting every pin in the game. And it was the first game I truly 100 percented. And I told myself if this game ever got a sequel, I would have to really consider if I would lose my sanity trying to go for 100 percent again. Hmm. Good point. Um, 
No, I, I like I haven't even tried. I tried to one percent the game. Like definitely not the DS version, right? Because Mingle PP is probably my least favorite <laughs> thing in the universe. Um, but uh, yeah, no, like even even the newer one, I've I kind of tried to one hundred percent it, and I just I can't. <laughs> it's so much work. I um, I cheated Mingle BP by convincing my friend to let me borrow his DS for a month and buying a second copy and just uh, sitting yes. them next to each other. <laughs> yeah, I so did wait, that with my sister's DS. <laughs> did you just continue to get Mingle PP that way? Yeah. Yeah, as long as another tw- another Twiwi and another DS is running and near it, it will continue to build it. Oh, I thought it was like I thought it was like a street pass thing where like whenever like when like two DS interact, like that's it. Like you get one. I oh no, you, they can keep interacting. They can interact over and over and over and over. Damn. I wish I had friends <laughs> that also had DSs or friends in general at that time period. But that's not important. I think you mean friends that are not across the fucking sea. Uh, no, well, back then. Back then, I definitely didn't have okay. friends. Um, but don't, don't mind my sad childhood. Uh, let's instead talk about... Um, also, thank you, RSP, for that first question. I forgot to mention who actually asked it. Yes, we should do that. That's an, that's an excellent point. RSP, the boy. Uh, we let him in, even though he likes Joshua. Um, another question that RSP asked is uh you know what yeah let's 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 just get this out of the way early because i know we're going to be jumping around topics a little bit here but um will you be uh doing a playthrough on youtube or live streaming uh your first playthrough of neo the ones with you yeah so i'm going to definitely do a live stream of neo the ones with you so the reason why i want to do a live stream is because I'm very big on first reactions to things, right? I don't want anything to feel like it's scripted or you thought, well, he's already seen this, so his impact, the impact on him would not be as big as someone who had never seen it. So I want you guys to get the raw feeling, the raw emotion from me, even if I'm crying about something sad, I don't know what it would be. But yeah, so I'm going to do a live stream of it and I'm going to convert that live stream into a playthrough for the channel. Yeah. Shit. YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash zeta slow yo there. let them know that the, the shilling there. get them <laughs> let them know uh i should <laughs> could you have that in the link handy i already hosted okay. it okay thank you <laughs> appreciate it i'm ahead of you um Nick, you know, I already know the answer to this question but neku will you be streaming your first playthrough of near the one absolutely with you? not no 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 I have this is a very, very personal opinion of mine. A lot of people disagree on me, uh, disagree with me on it. I will not be streaming it because I want my first reaction to be with myself. I don't want to have to try to monitor a chat, which also might be hosting spoilers while trying to enjoy something I've been waiting 14 years for. It's the same reason why I didn't string Kingdom Hearts 3 when it first came out, even though I really, really wanted to. Because I knew I would be behind and people would be posting, hey, has he seen blah, blah, blah yet? And I did not want to experience that at all. Mm. Uh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Um, for me personally, so I'm kind of in a tough spot, right? Because I stream, uh, like, I, like I stream pretty regularly. Mondays and Thursdays, even on this channel. Ho 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 ho! I'm even streaming the ones with you on Monday. Ho ho ho! Shill shill shill. But uh, I was, I seriously thought about streaming Neo right when it comes out. I decided against it for multiple reasons, right? Really? Okay. Yes. Uh, first of all, I love my community and I love my chat room. And I love going... There are some things I love through going through blind with, with my chat. Like, most of the DMC games, I went through those blind with chat. That was a lot of fun. A lot of Kingdom Hearts games, I went through blind with chat for the first time. That was a lot of fun. But they definitely do alter the experience a little bit. So, to me, this game is so important that I do want to leave, like, the first playthrough, like, for myself. I want to be uninfluenced. The only thing I might do is I might go into my Discord and just have a channel where, you know, people can't talk to me. They can just see me and not say much and just watch me. If people really want to watch me, go through it. Do the broadcast table thing? Yes. Uh just because like which sounds silly but it's just i really don't want to be influenced 
uh, on no, that I one. Get I really, it. I, I want to just, I want to just be able to. This game is that important to me that I just want to, I just want to play it. And I just want to enjoy it. It's also that, like, it's also a couple of other things. Like, I don't want to be have to be tied down by a stream schedule just to play the game. You know, that's like, true. I agree. I'd have to play like four. I only get to play basically four hours, four to five hours a week, which is not enough. I'm gonna binge the shit out of that game. <laughs> I know I will. Oh, oh, same here. But see, you have a stream schedule. I do not. I'm just gonna just go. <laughs> oh, just do the, it. The, yeah, yeah. Just go. The biggest issue that I'm running into is I'm also, in case people aren't aware, I am the main moderator for the Twiwi subreddit. And the issue I'm gonna run into is I can't play the game a week early. I have to beat it as fast as possible to not be spoiled by the subreddit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, is uh, like my is definitely the same. Um, like uh, she told me. Oh wait, actually, yeah, my. What what are you gonna do about about this? Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to play it, but because I gotta play it because I gotta get on Twitter and do a bunch of Joshua memes if he makes it into the game. Yo, thanks so much. My uh, e excellent opinions once again. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you for coming over your knock contribution. that microphone out of your hand. You need to stop one, <laughs> killing you, your voice, and two, just making my look worse. Look, well, I'll leave Myra alone. Like, that, that's, that's her voice, all right? I, you're being mean to our co-host. Look at her. I'm being mean to you currently. She has... Um, she has a but oh yeah i forgot i forgot my literally has five days to complete the game like she's literally uh -huh. she she has the timer on her hand because she has to like just like travel five days after the game comes out for like holidays and she she can't like she doesn't own a switch or anything so it's not like she can take the game with her uh well she cool. might be able to take the game with her but um like she doesn't know if the monitor in the hotel room is going to be able to accept ps5 but so she'll basically need to like blitz through what potentially might be is what is at least 50 hours it could potentially be like 80 <laughs> with the extra content actually the, the, question what, what are yeah. you guys getting neo on uh so i'm definitely getting it on pc when it comes out on pc because it's mods but oh, i'm getting it on switch great. okay on switch yeah right i'll be Mainly, getting it on ps4 ps4 like mainly, I'm gonna get it on Switch uh, because I want the portability. I don't want anything to get in my way of of just playing this game. Don't you? Yeah, no, that makes sense too. I know what's gonna end up happening because I do this with the standard Twiwi. Uh, by the way, I own seven copies of this game, and that is not an exaggeration. Are we counting Lord solo or final? Uh, no, these are just cartridges. Oh. <laughs> And counting wow. final remix and solo, I think I own 10 total copies. Because what ended up happening is all of my friends were like, why do you like Tweeby so much? And I'm like, oh, just play the game. Or like, oh, we can't find it. So I let them borrow a copy and I wipe their file when they give it back. Uh -huh. So I have seven, seven different DS copies to hand out to people in case they're like, I want to play this game. Writing the Tweeby gospel. Yes, yes, yes. We love to hear it. That's Bring all I ever can do. <laughs> I definitely do want to know. Like, like I also want the collector's edition, but like the collector's edition that they're doing here is just like it's not as good it's as the one they do. It's garbage. Japan. That's a whole other discussion. Yeah, it's a whole. That's a whole other thing um, that we're gonna have to talk about later. Uh, for now, Neku, do you want to get another? That was also RSP. That question I should mention. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Um, do you want to ask the next question, Neku? Yes, of course. So, Exilra asks, which Tweebie character do you relate? to the most and why i say staring at your sprites i mean show you know <laughs> uh i i personally prefer shooter oh shooter shooter really okay i mean no not really no not really no not really no not really i was making him off the screen i was making a joke don't worry about it <laughs> uh yeah I'm, i prefer a uh, dr pin actually <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> dr tin pin the, I I like I like seven triple seven band number number three. I like that guy. Good guy. You even know the band numbers oh. names? Did they have name? Oh, yes. you know what? Zeta slow Zeta slow. Tell us about your favorite of the worlds with your character. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know, show show Mina Mimoto. A lot of people skip the me in the end, so they go yeah. Mina Moto. No, it's Mina Mi Moto. Because it you're calling me, out all that right me. now. I need you to stop. Oh, am I? 
No, you're good. <laughs> Keep yes. going. Oh. So we, we, we <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm correct all the time, Neku. I don't want to hear it. Hey, it's okay because he, he's a show stand, so he's right no matter what he yeah, says. See? It's okay. See? Yeah, this, see, see this is why right this is why my boy's at a slow. This is why I had to have him on because this man under, he's on a higher plane of understanding than the rest of us. Thank you, Zeta Slow. Please tell us more about why you love the best character in the world with you. I love him because he he doesn't care. Like he got promoted to game master, and he's like, so what? I'm just gonna do what I was gonna do anyway. In fact, you gave me a bigger stage to do what I was going to do. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we can talk about it now since it's on the anime, right? Or yes. at least part of it. What, what, what part, of it. part of it. Uh, you yeah. can talk about that part. Uh, don't talk too much yeah. about yeah, like yeah. the too too late stuff. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, yeah, he just like even on the anime, he he was worse on the anime, honestly, because he said first day he said you guys try to kill each other, just go at it. I'll watch. So he he oh, has a shit. lot of ruthlessness to him. I don't know. He has a lot of ruthlessness to him, and he has some very catchy sayings as. The phrase goes, you are so Zeta slow. And I felt like that he resonated did it. with he me. He said the mission. He said the mission. Congratulations. Give me, give me that applause yeah, track. He did set the thing. He said the thing. He said yeah. it. He, he said, said it. The he thing. said the thing. You'll love it. You'll love to see it. I'm sorry. I had to make a big deal of that because tangenting for a second, when... I do the Reapers games. I always ask people, what do you think is the most recognizable quality that you have? And Zeta's response was, I love show. Definitely. <laughs> I, I, I literally went, okay, let's just make your name the mission. And shout out to Dog Emperor. They literally have not failed the mission since I've been doing this. Dog Every Emperor's single on one it. I've done, they have passed. Honestly, kudos to Dog Emperor. Like, yeah, been on top of it. It really is. Uh, so yeah, like, um, so oh, is that okay? I think I think about them, but uh, yeah, no, I'm like, if if I were to, if, if I can also answer that question, I'm show like yeah, show is is, is probably my favorite character. Like, there's like Neku is a close, a super close second, but. The thing is about show, right? I actually, I actually really like the way show is done in the anime, um, because it's, he just he doesn't. First of all, he's really good at what he does. He is stupid good at what he does. I love that. I love competent villains. Not, like, not only did he get rid of Joshua like in his wake as well, but also the fact that. Um, he just, they had to send Neku, like trick Neku into beating him to get rid of him. Um, and like the stuff with the taboo noise was really effective. He, he's just, he's a smart boy. This man yeah. is competent. Also, he's hilarious. I love him. Like, yes, I'm, that... <laughs> I'm very shouty, like in general, and like he doesn't care. He's super shouty too. I love that. I love that confidence. Yes, the megaphone just adds to his bravado. I love it. Yeah. Like, like that was just a good extra touch. Like, he could just yell normally, and I think he'd be fine doing so. But no, the megaphone just needs to be there. He has to go into super T.O. mode to, to <laughs> like, just go into people. It's, it's great. Stop your friendlies. Yeah, stop your friendlies. Stop <laughs> your friendlies! No, you're banned! <laughs> this fighting game joke was brought to you by water. Water. Consume more water. We're gonna be talking about the fighting game community because we're all fighting game community members and we all play fighting games, but we'll get to that later. Um But as I was saying, um also the math like I do love the math jokes. I really do. They have a special place in my heart. Because I, I did math in school, right? And like hearing Sokotoa in my video game and having it actually sound cool and like me actually like, oh I get that. Like that was that was a super cool moment for me. Um also his noise form is awesome. He's like, like his noise form is probably my favorite noise in the game. I love he, it. He's literally a bipedal lion with the ability to teleport and absorb taboo noise. I'll admit it's probably yeah. the coolest noise in the game. Yeah, and, and the color aesthetic and everything. I mean, because I don't know, like everyone, everyone else is very colorful. His is just very just black and gray, like very muted and intimidating because he's very black and white. I think that's to do with the fact that he turned himself into taboo noise, right? Because that's a taboo noise yes. color scheme. 
Yeah. Yes. That's why his arm had the taboo markings on it. Um, but like, yeah. And also, also, this is this is the last thing about him that that I have to say I, I do love. That fight's hard. <laughs> that fight is not easy. That fight, that last week two fight in the game, that that thing, I was stuck on that for days as a kid. Um, and like those hair shining, so Zeta slow and die radiant are like they've been etched into my brain. You're out of your from bed, that dude. fight. <laughs> it's everything about to the point where like when they did like his voice is the one that bothers me the most in the anime. Not because his voice actor did a particularly bad job. It's just that the way he says those lines are so iconic in my brain that I just can't hear him any other way. It's it's fourteen years of bias. Well, we haven't got the dub though either, yet, right? That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. Square Enix, we haven't gotten the dub yet. It's coming, right? It's coming, Square Enix. Yeah. Thanks. Um. With that being said, um, you know, I feel like this is the mystery of the ages. I feel like scientists have come together to try and figure out what Neku's favorite Thrones with You character is. Um, yeah. They haven't come to a conclusion. Uh, you know, many, many conferences have been made on this topic. So, uh, you know what, Alpha Neku, tell me what your favorite The Ones With You character is. Please, finally, un un unlock this mystery for all of us. Would you believe me if I told you that it wasn't Neku, but it was Shiki? What? Okay, that's messed up. <laughs> that's messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Why would you ruin my bit? <laughs> I'm actually joking. Uh, I have three. Neku is obviously the top, but because he's main character, I try to not say him as my first answer because a lot of people are just like, oh, main character bias. And I'm like, dude, just let me have my boy. But after that, it is Mr. H, Hanekoma and Shiki are both tied right. for second place for me. Uh, Hanekoma, because there is way too much depth to that character for me not to go. You are amazing and I need to know more. And mm -hmm. Cheeky just has a very, very powerful character arc. Yeah. Yep. It starts. It starts and ends the same way. Very strong. Mm -hmm. That entire week was very, very powerful. That's why I was kind of disappointed with week one in the anime because I was like, you, you didn't give me the feels that I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The airy uh, stuff was pretty strong. Oh, the airy stuff was absolutely stellar. But we also didn't have Higashizawa comparing her to food and making her really stand up and go, I am not your toy. Stuff like that. Yeah. But Good point. Neku is the main character of the game. It's obvious that a lot of us have a very close tie to him because we play as him in the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. But watching him grow from a very grumpy, antisocial 16-year-old who has lost a lot to not a social butterfly, but someone who's willing to listen and to trust in people he actually knows is a very... Yeah powerful message that's true I agree. I agree um yeah that's that's i mean i mean what more can you say on that uh let's do another question we are uh maybe there's a lot of questions to get through there's a lot there's a lot of questions to, to answer and for those of you who are putting uh, questions in chat keep them coming I, I am picking i am keeping track of them and we will address them later do some great uh, ones there's some really good ones uh but for now we gotta we gotta gonna put another spotlight on our patreon boys uh over here um especially one willow uh who asks uh there's a couple of these questions that would be a bit more quick fire and some of them are a bit more deep uh here's a quick fire one what's your favorite uh pin uh slash badge of the game Ooh, so my favorite pin of the game it's Yoshimitsu because not only is that my my Tekken main back to fighting games, that pin Ooh. is great because it's a great melee pin. Great melee pin, a lot of damage. It's a good filler for when you run out of you know your range sykes. Is that, I can't and, remember. So that is that one? Did they add that one into Final Remix or was that always in the game? Which one is that? that was it was always in the, always game. In the game, I think. Uh, yeah, it's part of the Jupiter of the Monkey set. It's part of the Monkey spelling pin. The Monkey. Oh, oh yeah, 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 oh sorry, yeah, no, I love that one. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, I just keep. Yes, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. His brain's finally starting to come back to him. Sorry, hey, I just, I, I couldn't forget. Like they're all called separate things, and they're not just M O N K. -E it's not just know? J of the M. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah, like a Masamune, right? Onikiri, Inikiri, Kanasada. 
Oh and you, the monkey is very me. Eastern thing. I keep forgetting about that. This man, this man knows the names of all of them. I'm being, I'm being outmatched. No, um, no, you're good. No, you're good. That's the only ones I know. Those are the only ones. <laughs> like, I agree with you there. Like, the thing I love about those slash bins specifically is that they're so, like, they're so efficient with their meteor. Because, like, even if you're, like, on the last bit of it, you can still do the full sword combo um, before it has to go back into cooldown, which is cool. Yeah, I exactly. Love, I love those melee pins. Like, I think that's a pretty, it's a pretty popular pick, I'd imagine. A lot of people love those pins. Oh, um, and another reason, another reason. Let, let me, I'll plug this into another reason why I know the pin name is because I was doing that pin short series. <laughs> that Dude, short series. I love that thing. I, I wish you could do one of that. It's, it's so, if you guys don't know, if you visit Zeta Slow's YouTube channel, now it's, it's, I don't blame him because it's a really, like, it's it's quite the task to do, but uh, he did these like uh, mini videos where he like does like little f like one minute explainers of all the pins and what they do, and it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I I, I, I if you have the time, I'd love for you to do more of them because they're really cool. Yeah, no, I want to do more. I, I just want to do them in order. So some of the harder things that I'm having trouble with behind the scenes is getting pins to level the proper way because I want to I want them to all to be mastered. So in order to have like lower level mastery pins that of pins that evolve, it's a little you bit have hard to purposely to gimp them. That's a pain. Exactly. It's so hard to do. That's true. If anyone has stats, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will. Uh, Neku, favorite pin? Ice Risers from D&B. Yes, we talked about this. Someone one is... I mean, we, uh, you could talk about it a little bit, but I don't think we should go too, too far into that. I think we've answered this question already. The short version is Ice Wars was my favorite pin because, one, I'm a very big ice playing fan. Uh, when I first got into fighting games, I was a Jin Kisaragi fan from Blaze Blue, and ice has it. always been a part of my favorite repertoire of things. But Ice Rises in particular was great because it would keep something in the air for a good two or three seconds so I could prep other pins like Lightning Rook or Pedults or, or Pellets, sorry and uppercut pins and j of the m it just literally was a setup pin for me and i had it in every single deck until i completed the dark white planet set awesome yeah. that, that's sick he used that in the anime too which was really cool like i was, I was happy to see that get some recognition because that was one of my favorite I, early ones i have one nitpick about that it's not the right ice pillars yeah, they used the wrong one. That, that is true. They, they there's there's cool. a separate D and B pin thing called Frozen Cool and Blizzard Cool. Yeah, that's that what I thought happened. Ice pillar shakes. Okay, I thought so too. I thought so too. But thanks for letting me know. That's true. Um, favorite pin in the game for me, uh, probably a tie between uh, Zeta's pin. Oh, sorry, Zeta's pin. Sorry. Um, Minamoto shows pin because uh, I like I like dashes and that one's really good. Uh, yeah. But if I, if I were to say my absolute favorite, it's probably uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's very specifically the one that you get after doing Ultimate Megumi. Uh, it's like a um, it's a brandless. Maybe somebody check can help me out with this. It's a brandless um, vortex pin that pulls people in. Um, I know it's, it's one uh, of those. It's like isn't it like ang? Anguis? No, no, it's not Anguis, is it? No, no. Are I can't remember what it's called. The human form or the actual noise? Mm, uh, no, the human form. The human form. You beat the human form. Uh, it's Ooh. one of the Magasama beads. What the hell? Is it's, it has it has it has like it has, it has like a a, a ghost yeah. on it. It's a little ghost. Um, but I, it has it has a it has a the vortex effect where like you pull down on the screen and it pulls everybody into one spot. I love that's all true. those pins, and they're because it makes the coolest combos in the game. So that one, and that's like the best version of it. So, uh, also yes. my favorite pin in the game is Splish Splash Barrier. Splish Splash Barrier, that's a good pick. That's actually not too bad. All right, let me. Let, 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 she's right here. Why don't you ask her? Why don't you ask her what her favorite pin is? I'd rather not continue to do a bit that eats time, sir. No, what do you mean? No, just ask her. It'll be funny. <laughs> Bye. What's your favorite pin? Oh, I love the little fishies. What's the special best pin? It's very fun to use. There you go. See, that didn't take any time at all. 
<laughs> slap you later. <laughs> you can't reach me. I'm in Ireland. Anyway, um, next question. Uh, we are discussing a lot of things and we're running out of a lot of time. I think, I, you know, what? I think we'll do this question and then we'll try and get some more questions from chat. So we'll start sure. asking some questions from we got from Twitter from chat after this one. Okay. Um, let's do, let's, let's have a nice deep question from Willow. Nice, nice deep philosophical question. In what way has the Worlds with you influenced your life and what messages in the game would you, would have helped you the most? Which has helped okay, so as I said, I played um Tweewee first when I was like 13, 14 years old, so I was very impressionable at that age. But one thing that I got from the Warden's Review is always be open to hearing other people's sides of things and hearing their thoughts because otherwise you're closing yourself off and you're not as accepting of other ideas. And it doesn't get you anywhere. So, because what they express a lot of in the world with you is the clashing of ideals and things like that. So, Neku's ideals versus anyone he runs into, it made him grow as a person, right? Mm -hmm. So, I exp even though you don't agree with someone, a lot of times you would like. I would like to hear them out first before I say completely I don't agree with you. Or we can find something that makes sense for both of us to agree on or disagree on. And. Another thing it taught me about was being vocal, like, right? So make sure you share your beliefs. Make sure you are able to, you know, be able to express your beliefs with someone and respect theirs as well. Yeah. So that's a good and, answer. That's a really good and answer. And then the yeah. quote to go with that. And then the quote to go with that is Shibuya is full of people waiting for those moments. And when we clash together, we find something new. Here in the UG, I've clashed, I have changed. And now I know Shibuya should stay just the way it is. That is what Neku said. Damn. Yeah, it's a really good answer. That's the, the, my answer is not that insightful, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna push this Neku first. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you actually said pretty much my straight answer. I learned to listen to other people first and then try to understand their opinion. You don't have to accept it, but you can try to understand it. The the biggest thing that always stuck with me, even though it was ruined later, was Josh sacrificing himself to save Neku at the end of week two. Mm -hmm. uh, give up on yourself and you give up on the world was a very, very powerful line. Basically, it means you don't stop moving forward. You don't you just sense a chill. Like you, you, you don't need to stop. You can take a moment to breathe and smell the flowers, but you have to keep going because if you give up on yourself, you give up on everything. And that's until Joshua, you know, comes back to life after returning from an alternate universe. But. Yeah. Um, I, I, that's definitely one of them for me is just like expanding your world. Like for me, like the whole expanding your world message, because like the world, like it's the title of the game, right? The world is with you. Right. Like That's the whole idea is like you, your boundaries and your horizons are where you set them. So if you close yourself off, you will be that. And if you open up then you will see more of the world and, and you'll be better for it which is huge um i will actually really... add on one extra thing okay at the end of the base game when you get the final cut scene the title of the game changes to the world begins with you and that is a very powerful message of you have to take the first step to grow and it's stuck with me for years yeah yeah it's awesome um, I think a big th one for me is just the f like, just seeing how Neku as a person changes from, uh, from like the first time we see him till the end of the game is just it's it's huge to me. Um, both like in the way he interacts with Shiki, um, that's huge. Um. The way that uh, his how his entry fee how his entry fees develop right because like oh. he went from like his entry fee being like his old memory so something that's very like something like that's very important to himself to his entry fee being cheeky to his entry fee being just the community and all the players in general like that's just like if that doesn't show progression of character I don't know what does and just it's the fact that. The, like in that very last cut scene when like you know he's facing off against joshua and he, even then he just he can't bring himself 
to shoot someone he considers a friend like that's that's so so powerful from somebody yeah. who literally the entire beginning of the game is just shouting at people to stop talking and leave me alone and you can keep your values to yourself and about the choke shiki too at that mm-hmm. yeah that's you that yeah. is the number one thing i hate about an anime i hate that it ruined that scene for me like it like it just did that scene so much worse it had too many it had too many people in it i feel like it, it became less personal but it's okay i, I think it's fine where it lives it's- it's just the noise thing. That's the main thing that bothers me. Why does he need to be influenced by some noise to do it? The whole, the, the most powerful part of that is that he chose to do that. That is also true. I, like I, you and I still have a disagreement about that, but that was a whole thing on another episode that I'm going to quote free reference as the noise can influence your darkest thoughts and make them reality, which means he still thought about it first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure, but why like make it any easier for him to make that decision? Like the fact that that decision was like that he even went through with it in itself is a huge deal. Why would you give it like a like an asterisk and be like, oh, but he was also he was F- M-. it just it just weakens it for me. It just weakens the entire moment for me for no real reason. Um, because it's not like it's not like the anime is, isn't violent or anything. Like the, the the anime does have pretty like strong scenes. So like, why yeah. I don't know. I still anyway. understand your point. Uh, that is what I'm coming from. Uh, but I think that's, I think that's, that's, I think, I think we'll go and look for some questions now from uh, the beautiful people of Twitter.com and the people in my uh, Twitch chat, which by the way, if you want to, if you want to watch these live, um, please uh, visit uh, www.twitch.tv slash Amadeus underscore. And uh, we do these podcasts on Saturdays, 8 p.m. GMT, unless OBS sets a crash. I'm going to so, try to figure it out. Uh, let's do so. Let's do this first question. We have a question from Twitter. Uh, and then we'll get some of the questions that we have in here from the chat. The question we got from Twitter is for Zeta Slow, what is your favorite in game brand in the original game? Mine is Jupiter the Monkey because I like Urbanware, it's Neku's favorite, and I like Blue. From Art to Wear Light on Twitter. Or sorry, Art okay. Awake sorry, Art Awake Light on Twitter. Okay. Thanks, Art. So yeah, Jupiter the Monkey's great. Um but I would have to say my favorite brand is Tiger Punk. Or is it T Gray or Tiger Punk? T Gray. T Gray. Yep. That's what I figured. Because the art's before the E, right? So okay. Yep. Anyway, so T Gray Punk, just because it's a very loud brand, right? Like so when I first played through this game. One of the first things that stuck out to me was how like things looked, right? How things looked. Cause I wasn't really as immersed in the story immediately. But then once the story started to develop, I got to liking it a lot more. But like Tiger T Gray Prunk has a lot of very crazy looking pins, not only, but also very crazy and like very stylistic clothes, right? Also at the end of the game, you can get um shows pants from there. But that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> but yeah, it has like a lot of like crazy things like velocity tackle, like go to hell and things like that. And live. I'm like, what in the world is this brand? And then it has like the smiley face pin too, the the peaceful one. And it that is. one it looked the best cool. healing pin in the game. Best healing pin. It looked kind of like the watchman pin as well. But yeah. Yeah, so that's where I sit. Sick. How about you, Matt? Uh, for me, it's, I mean, it's like Gatito. I feel like is a is a cheat answer, <laughs> right? Um, because that's just that's just the stuff that Cat designed and all that stuff's pretty cool. Probably yeah. <laughs> like like uh, Jupiter the Monkey's up there. Uh, like Jupiter the Monkey is probably the closest to what I would kind of wear. But I think I like Dragon Kurchur a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, both because the pins are very cool and very diverse, and also the clothes have a very distinct style to them. I mean, all the clothes have a very distinct style to them, but I feel like Dragon Couture is very, like, it's like something I would, I don't know, I like it. It's very aesthetically pleasing, and it's definitely something I, I could imagine seeing in Shibuya. All of that is not something I imagine seeing in Shibuya. I just like it a lot. <laughs> I just like a Dragon Couture a lot. I like I the pins. I like it. I don't like the appearance. I can't really put it into words, but that's how I feel about it. That makes that makes sense. 
Uh, what about you, Neku? I am going to say the cheat answer is Gatito for me. I am a... Boo! Um, Let me explain. No! I'm a very big fan of graffiti culture in general. Uh, I used to actually do graffiti. I used to do a lot of art and seeing uh, One Step from Eden. Uh, what was the other one? Darkwood Planets. There was one other set. I'm forgetting what it was, but seeing all the graffiti influences that really go into Gatito, it's very powerful. And right after that actually might be Pegaso. I really Ooh. enjoy very clean lines and very sharp colors. And right. Pegaso has that in spades. Mm-hmm. The only problem is I don't see myself wearing Pegaso because it's a lot of very high end clothing brand. Yeah, like it's really like a lot of suits and stuff like that. I don't like wearing suits that much, but the pin designs sell me so hard. They are really nice. I agree. Like they're very they're very smooth looking. Yeah. I mean, I love that. I love that brand because you get into the shops and they're like, are you these kids? Who do these kids think they are? You think they can exactly. buy like a $5,000? Oh, he actually bought like a 9,000 yen watch. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> like, I love that reaction from them. Yeah, and yeah, that's what the shop clerks. <laughs> the shop clerks are hilarious. When you go into the main one in 104, I think it's in 104. I can't remember which shop it actually is. And you do you talk to the guy who like really judges you for being there, and then you buy a three hundred dollars suit. He just like freezes. He goes, "Huh? You have money?" <laughs> he has a bank. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Uh, great question from Twitter. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's get some more questions from Chad. There were some earlier that I took down. Uh, you know, Neku, actually, ask, you, you ask uh, the next one. I really hope you ask the one that I really want you to ask. Oh, boy. So, from Scarlet Maiden 10, what are your thoughts on Nishiki? Oh. Best oh, ship ever! Oh. He actually got out of his chair for that. I don't blame him because okay, so before <laughs> so before, right? Before I got like huge into the fandom, got like into the Discord and everything else, I I never really like thought too much of it. I was like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. But ever since I saw I got into the fandom, I, I am like two thousand percent behind this. Like Alto has sold me on it with every picture, every design, every every post, every tweet. Two thousand percent. 2000% behind it. Oh my goodness. I, I love them and I love them even more in the anime because it made me almost want to cry. Like, I think it was like, was it episode three that they ended the first week on? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, like, just them getting torn apart, that dynamic, it, it broke my heart. It really did. So, I'm, I'm, let, let me level with you all for a second. Okay. I'm, 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 let me just let me level with you all. Nekushiki is my favorite ship in any video game. And in fact, in any piece of fiction ever. Yes. Yes, 2000%. 2000%. In life. Let me let me explain. First of all, I honestly thought it was the cannon ship. It's not until I discovered Twitter and I discovered the curse that is Joshua X Neku that I realized people disagree with me on that one. I thought it was just like the the and that's right. That's right Joshua X Neku fans, I'm calling you out. I'm, I'm, I'm calling Boy, this shit out. Um, but uh, not like I for a long time thought it was like the cannon ship. But even if it isn't, right? It's just it's for me. It's like the model relationship. Like I think like that is like a super healthy relationship. If they, if they were a couple in real life, I would be like they have nothing to worry about. Uh, post post the end of the first week, early on, they are not the model relationship. <laughs> But the thing, okay, so here's the thing, right? Because, like, it's the game does in a very cool way because, like, they're forced to be together, right? They're partners, right? Yeah. And, like, I, I'd argue the best relationships are the one that make you better. Like, I don't think, like, getting a relationship with somebody who is very similar to you, it's just not, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's not conducive, um, yeah. Okay. It's not conducive. Like, you're not growing as a human being. You're just, you need somebody to offset your weaknesses and, like, help you, like, push you to. Get in, out of your comfort zone and develop yourself. 
And that's exactly what these two do each, to each other. Like, in everything. Like, Shiki tells Neku to open up more and shows him the benefits of that. Neku t- shows Shiki just how to be more confident. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, like, just... go ahead. I was going to say, and, like, the the fact that, like, she when she was at her most vulnerable, he was there to build her back up in the way he did. Yeah. Like, like really, if Neku didn't actually care, why would he have done any of that? There's, I mean, there's no reason. No way. Not at all. So, like, like, sure, like, he wants to get the missions done, but he really d- did not have to, like, help build her back up like that. Mm-hmm. Um... But just like I just I love it, and like the cherry on top of the cake for me is just the like in the last scene before they go and 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 fight the boss of week one, uh, where she's like, I'm probably gonna look different in real life, uh, but I'll have Mr. Mew with me. My man does not bat an eye; Mm -hmm. he does not give a damn. He's like, no matter how you look at IRL, I'm I'm good with this because you're a good person. Like that that melts my heart. It really does. I love. I love this ship. I love it. I love. I. I love it beyond words. I love it more than I can describe. This is why every time Alto tweets, I cry. I have to have the tissues on Honestly. me at all times. Honestly, it's it's, it's like it's like Alto. If you, I hope you see this because the things you do to my big arteries. Shout out to Alto. Big shout out to Alto. Um, he, it, it's just never- it's just best. It's just the best. It's just the best ship in the game. No questions. I, I will not be taking questions on this. Like, there's none. I did not. The, uh, the, uh, what, what about uh, Joshua? Ne- no, my. No, no, I don't want to hear about Joshua Neku. All right. I want to hear it. Also, you're looking very thin. Neku, what's your favorite? Ship? <laughs> what do you think of Nishiki? <laughs> I you guys pretty much covered the whole basis of it. It literally was my guideline for trying to find a relationship in real life. And as cheesy as it is, my partner and I call each other Neku and Shiki every once in a while. Hey, no, you got that. That's all you 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 keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. I really appreciate that. Uh, next question. Next question. Uh, da, 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 da. uh what is the next question? Uh, let's see here. I did a post one. From uh, Kusuri Urikun. Kusuri Urikun. That's, that's Dog Emperor. Just say it's Dog Emperor. Yo, Dog Emperor. What a what a what a guy. What a guy. Um it says uh, Adam and Deus. Okay. The obligatory question to Zedaslo OG. Your favorite song on the soundtrack. Okay, so you two already know this because we literally just talked about this a few moments ago. <laughs> yes, oh. we did. So my favorite song on the soundtrack came from, I believe it was it final mix that that guy introduced or no live mix, right? Probably. Ooh. Anyway, it's make, make or break, or break, make or break for a conscious, not regular make or break. I, uh, make the or break for conscious. I think was final remix. Okay. Considering it's the third remix, I, I, I'd probably say final remix. Yeah. Don't quote us on that though. Okay, but yeah, so make or break for conscious is spelled with a Q Q A N C H I S. Right. That's that that's your favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. Okay. And uh, you know you know no further questions. I, I feel <laughs> I feel like that's that's the question I was asked. Uh Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, honorable mention is O parts. That is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> o parts is good. Um Thank you. What do you listen to in those headphones all the time? Everything. If I have to pick one particular one, I always end up at uh, It's a Wonderful World Final Remix. The The original one was very powerful for me, especially after I beat the game, because it's the first thing you're greeted with always, and I love it. But the the big thing that always caught me about the final remix version is how many layers that song has. Like there are so many things happening, especially when I first played final remix, I had it on really big speakers in my living room and you could hear the bass. You could hear the symbols. You could hear all the extra notes that they threw in. 
and the remix was so good i immediately changed my ringtone tone from the original to that one without hesitating mm-hmm. <laughs> someone's being smart in the chat and saying his favorite song is teenage city riot uh, I, I saw that. I, I, I'm honestly like I'm I'm on that boat. I love Teenage City Riot. I really wish I really wish I could come back in some capacity because that would be up there for me. I don't know what my favorite is. I love so many of them. Like uh, Transformation is up there. Give Me All Your Love is up there. Uh, Twister Kingdom remix specifically is up there. I agree. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna talk about this isn't my favorite favorite, but the one that is the one that I didn't expect to be up there. Oh, sorry, Hybrid. Hybrid, I like a lot. Hybrid and One Star. Basically, most of the soundtrack. Three um, minutes clapping. Three minutes clapping, also very good. Um, but if there's one that I wanted to highlight here, I want to highlight... I don't know what it's called is the problem, but it's, it's one that starts with, like, static. Like, and then... I can't... I, I Psychedelic? Yes! What? What's um, that? Psychedelic. It, Oh, yes. I like that one a lot because it comes at a point in the game where everything's kind of manic and crazy. And it's so and it's so different from every other song in the game that it really delivers that feeling of like, oh, gosh, shit's going down. You know, I got Um, very, very sad when I heard the final remix version of Psychedelic. I feel like it got shot in the leg. uh, Kind of. I see why you say that. Yeah. It it definitely went for more of an EDM feel instead. And I'm like, I get that, but you should have put like a really strong booming bass in the back. Mm-hmm. It feels very weak now. Also, to answer your question earlier, is that a, the, raw, the uh, live remix had the mix for Conscious. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Um, I'm going to give a chance for chat now. If you, if you have any more questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. And to uh, answer Jet, uh, Yoshimitsu is the pin. But go ahead. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Um, Last chance for questions. Well, while we're waiting for questions, uh, if there are any more, I think I'm going to grab one more question from our beautiful boys and girls. Um, over at on, Patreon. Uh, over at Patreon. Hey, did you guys know that we have a Patreon now? I'll stop. It's so amazing. Um, so let's ask. Uh, let's ask this question. <laughs> I mean, I, the answer might be obvious, but who's your favorite new character in Neo so far from, from uh, Xelora? Ooh, okay. So, I mean, show's playable. Let's, let, that's first and foremost. Show is playable. So I'm, I'm really excited for that. I, I like, so if I had to talk about a new character, I would say Fred, though. Fred is probably the go to because he seems very happy go lucky and very easygoing he seems very cool he seems like a cool guy you know something i would hang out with but then if i didn't pick him i would probably say shoka because after seeing that opening shoka seems pretty dope god damn it every time that's that opening is the only reason why everybody's losing their mind over this chick this chick smiled once and now y'all fell but it was the way that she did it like she appeared from behind his back nothing personal kid smiles at you and then you go on the further (laughs) <laughs> amazing that's that's you know that's how you know you got the right girl right there if she shows up behind you and gives you like the raging demon like it's over <laughs> that, that's it's over from there um fair enough uh neku so Maybe. i'm the type of person that doesn't really pick a new favorite until i know more about them so i actually don't have an answer right now because I'm kind of, i, I follow I fall in love with characters as they start showing me their their tendencies, what they do, what they won't do, etc. That's when I start picking favorites. I can't just off of aesthetic alone, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm definitely on that same boat. However, uh, what I've seen of um, Fret in particular, I, I'm really liking it. He's he's very he's very uh, agreeable. And he's like he, he seems like a cool guy. I like him. I, I'm definitely I hanging out with that person in IRL. Um, oh wait, my, 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 my do you have a do you have a quest? Uh, yeah guys uh sorry i've been quite lost while but i have a question for all of you uh my question is uh who is a hero character and why and i'm not allowed to answer this question okay uh, uh, least okay. favorite I, character it, by the way uh, it, it, uh, shit hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I meant. 
Uh, least, least, least favorite character. That was my question. <laughs> you can't just hit me with that when I'm, when I'm not ready to do it. Um, I have to. So I have to good. check you. So, least favorite character. Awesome. Yeah, I, can I just clear up something real quick? Joshua is not my least favorite character in the game. He's, he's really not. I actually quite like Joshua. I just love hating on him a lot more because he's an asshole. But it's for the bit. I, it's actually not for the bit. I will still dunk on him all day, every day because he's a jackass. But I don't hate him. I think he's very important to the story and I'm very glad he exists. A lot of people confuse this. Like, I, I, yes, I'll, I'll, give, like, I'll give him shit all day, all, every day. And I still think, like, he's, like, a bit selfish as a character, but, like, the game is a lot more, a lot better, and the story is a lot better for having him. I think that gets lost in translation a lot. I agree. All y'all Joshua simps can, can still, like, like this, this war isn't over. This is not even a ceasefire. This is just acknowledged. Not even. <laughs> All right, Zeta, what's your answer to the question? Oh, so what is my, like, least? Your least, least favorite, character, favorite character in Tweeway. Uh, probably, uh, see, it's between Shooter and Higashizawa, but I, I, I kind of want to go Higashizawa. He, he just seems, he's too bland for me. Right. He's the bland. man who talks the story. about Spice is too bland. Uh-huh, I, too I, bland. I, got, I, got, I, got, I got the button for this one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent job. E excellent job, Neku. Yeah, he, he needs a little more spice in his soup, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, got him again. <laughs> <laughs> please stop. P please stop. We're losing viewers. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging. I'm saying, I'm saying that there might have been too many chefs in the kitchen on design, but it's okay. All right. No, all right. We're moving on from that. He's like, you're not allowed to ask no more. I no. <laughs> I that last one tore out his soul and threw it in with the happy noise. He's done. <laughs> I actually have a very particular answer. For me, it's Makoto. Makoto? Everyone got what? Really, cool. really? Makoto? So I have issues with very shallow. Makoto. I, I have very shallow. Crazy issues. I want you to remember that Makoto literally got five seconds of fame and instantly become an asshole who opened a secondary ramen shop that did such bland ramen that the other ramen shop's owner had to recreate the simple ramen to get him to snap out of it. Bitch, that man is so successful. What do you mean he's so bland? The character, character development. What do you mean he's bland? He out. What he, do you mean? It, it literally, it's a personal issue that personal I have. Personal issue? With. What the Let's hell are you talking explain. about? The personal issue? I mean, like, he had he had the concert. He had all these things going for him. He's just not yeah. in the anime like that. So that when me. I first played through the game, I had issue with people that let their success get to their head. Right. And Makoto was the embodiment of that until he got checked super hard. And it took someone bringing him back to reality after his bar had failed for him to go back to being a very powerful person. My I first, the reason why I, I disagree with people saying that people are like, oh, he's a great character because he's a character arc. I'm like, that's not the issue I have. It's literally the situation of you had five seconds of fame. You let it go to your head and someone had to check you to bring you back down to earth. So he's your least favorite person, like just as a type of person. Yes. Got you. That makes sense. Man, I do see where you're coming from, but like, I, I think he has character development. That's why I... I like as I sure like he like as a character he is shallow in like the way he sees things, but I think like he has an arc of development arc in the arc in the game. That's why I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's my least favorite. I uh, just he just he just makes me every time I play week two, I squirm thinking about how we set up his success and it went to his head. It just makes me angry. <laughs> sure. I, I I yeah. I, I just realized I, I didn't technically answer the question, did I? Um, nope. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess like, I don't know. Like, like you got, I guess kind of wish you guys all got more of a spotlight. Um, 
ramen guy is pretty good. There's very few characters I don't like. I guess shooters, like, partner kind of doesn't, like, he kind of doesn't have a place in the game. He's just kind of hanging out. Um, I mean, like, goddamn, uh, what's his name? Uh, stage tech guy. Like barely had anything to do. IT man. <laughs> yeah, like he, like he, he just kind of does nothing except for being competent for a while. So, uh, I can't. Yeah, I, I, I find it difficult to find a character I actually dislike in the game. I have to say, I can't think of one. This actually is a very hard question because even I will admit, every single character in the game has something to bring to the table. I it's one of the reasons yeah. why I say that Makoto isn't my least favorite character. He's my least favorite person. Because outside of like Higashizawa, Shooter, etc., they're all characters that go through something. Higashizawa gets murdered without having any character development because he's the first weak boss. You can't do much about that. Exactly. Uh, Shooter and his partner are just anime protagonists in the wrong world. And I have nothing else to say about that. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do last call for these questions. If anybody has any more questions to ask uh, to myself or is that a slow uh, or Neku, uh, please do. But I think I think the last question here I'm gonna ask, uh, unless we get any more questions in the chat, is uh, to you, uh, is that a slow? Uh, what got you into creating content, and why do you create content for Toy specifically? Like, what, what what's what's the kind of reasoning? What's the process? So I've been very big into like YouTube. I like watch YouTube a lot more than I would probably say I watch TV, honestly, because there's always there's a lot of different content on here on this platform. Um, I would say probably what made me want to actually pursue true content creation was the fact that for the Warden's Youth specifically, there's not that many of us out there. There was like if I was ever to look up something for the Warden's with you, You'd find like someone who like does cage Kingdom Hearts, and then they just happen to be on the world with you that day. They weren't really there for the world ends with you in full, if that makes right. sense. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. So I wanted to kind of like throw my hat in there and try to contribute to a community that I really like, love, and care for, and have something so I can say I have my name on. I made a mark on the community. I made an impact, at least to some people, or got more people into it. Something like that. Yeah. Honestly, I think you already have because we came across you as a group almost all around the same time, except for myself, because I don't do a lot of like really deep video game YouTube. And Ahmed was like, we need to get him like now. So I think you already left your mark on the community by having people pop up and go, we need to talk to him because you know what you're talking about. Thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. Of course. Also, uh, fun. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I would say also shout out to random because random whenever I would say something wrong, right? Random would be like, or not completely right. Random would be like, hey, by the way, you're doing a great job, but you should say this instead next time. I'm like, okay. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. So thanks, random. Good guy, random from from the Discord. Uh, please do join the Discord as well. Um, uh, we, we have a lot of fun there. Even if you're not a patron, you can access the Discord. It's just if you're a patron, you access uh, the good stuff. Um, oh, that's the wrong Discord. That's yours. It, it sure is. Uh, that's not the correct Discord. Um, I'm gonna post the correct Discord in a second, but um, like yeah, like for me, um, for me, like like this is actually you know I'm gonna tell you guys kind of the origin story of how this podcast came to be. Like I I always love creating content personally. Like it's just um. I definitely I love making people laugh. I love like I found myself basically like as I was like playing games naturally, like um, I was commenting anyway. And I was kind of like having very big reactions. And I was like, you know what? I, I want to share this with the world. And a lot of my friends were streaming at that time. So I kind of that kind of made me um, want to try out streaming for myself. And it's just that feeling of sort of creation and having like my like I look at my, both my channel on Twitch and like the YouTube for the podcast is like sort of as my babies, you know, it's like, like this is this is my baby project. Like it's very I, I've I look back at them and I feel very proud of of what I've done and what we've done here. Um, 
and like creating has always like got me through some really rough times in my life it's just being able to divert that energy into something i love like it's it's huge like this podcast has been huge for mental health especially over the past couple of months where it's been kind of rough being like so like ingrained in the community and creating stuff and listening to people and sharing this energy around the world ends with you like it's been huge like initially the reason why i made this podcast is because i, I always love the world ends with you but i didn't have really anybody to talk to about it um it's only really when sort of you know news about the anime came out news about neo came out and i was like you know what this is a new community uh they don't have a podcast to like you know gather around yet i feel like this is where i can do, where i can help and where i can create some content and get bring the bring community together and thanks to the people it's it's grown into something like way bigger than i ever thought it would be like honestly i had n- me nor neku nor mai could have ever imagined that it get it got to the size that it did so thank you yeah uh, um, go ahead oh i was gonna say and it's funny because i reached out to y- you guys because i was like man i love what you guys are doing here i've watched like, I watched three episodes straight, I believe. That's what happened. And I was like, oh my goodness, there is something here. Like, I love this. Can I be a part of it, <laughs> please? That was so, it was very funny. Like, I was like, uh, I saw Zeta, like, I was watching his stuff for a while anyway. And like, uh, I was like, and I saw him comment on like one of our tweets. I was like, oh man, he knows we exist. Let me go message him real quick. Oh, what's that? He's already messaged me and I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> funny that. Um, so yeah, and honestly, like, like, like the, like, honestly, the stuff you said about the podcast as well made me very happy. It was nice to hear the people and actually, it's not to hear actual people tell me that they enjoy the podcast, you know, and not just through comments. It should means a lot. Of course, of course. And I'll continue to watch. M- make sure you check out their YouTube. Cause I mean, that's where I watched that. Cause I mean, I didn't catch it live till today. Sorry guys, but <laughs> all good. <laughs> all good. It's one reason why we post it on YouTube. It's because we know people have lives and they're not gonna be able to make it live every single time. So we, we made that decision very early on of we're posting this as much as we can. So people can always watch it. Honestly, like that's if, if people want a little bit of a peek behind the curtain, behind the scenes of what we do initially, like this, the focus on this was mainly on the, like we didn't decide to put it up on YouTube until kind of later. Right, like it was initially going to be a podcast, and it was initially going to go up on podcasting platforms. But YouTube is by far the most popular way people have been consuming our content, like by far and away. Like people have been listening to us on Spotify and all that stuff, but definitely like YouTube has been the number one way people have been um, watching our stuff. So it's it's been it's been super cool to watch to watch us sort of divert to the point where like I don't even like. I don't even really mind if this um, if the times for streaming kind of change around. But like to me, like now the Monday YouTube upload is now like officially the big deal, right? Like that's the thing we can't really miss anymore, which is mm-hmm. it's interesting. But uh, yeah, do a great job. We guys do we do a great job. You know who else does a great job? Mr. Zeta Slow OG. Uh, what a guy, what a guy, what a guy, what a guy. Can, can we all come out get a round of applause for Zeta Slow? For being the very first, the very first guest on our podcast. There he is. He survived. He survived. Many they, they said he couldn't do it. But he 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 really came on. Was amazing. Thank you very much for joining in. It was great to hear course, you. Can you please please chill all of your things? Where can people find more Zeta Slow? Okay, so you guys can find me. So right now I'm not on Twitch as much. Right now you can find me at YouTube dot com slash zeta slow yes i got the name so youtube.com slash zeta slow that'll take you straight to my youtube channel and on, you can find me on twitter at twitter.com slash zeta slow og as it says right below me right down there yeah go check out his stuff uh he may he may even be on for later episodes of the regular podcast as a guest ho, 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 ho. you might even see, see some more of him here wow um but uh for now yeah i think i think we're gonna i think we're gonna call that a podcast guys so i would actually like to stop you for a moment oh i'm rebellion i'm is that Small rebellion. rebellion okay zeta the one thing we have not done is ask if you have questions for us oh <laughs> shit you're right <laughs> we did i said we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you take over yeah you know i'm i'm good you do your thing <laughs> So let's uh, let's make it uh, a couple questions real quick. Let's okay. go ahead and start with anything you would like to know about us in the podcast. Obviously, my can't answer directly, but if she types in the chat, I will say her response out loud. 
Uh, correction, okay. I will, uh, correction, I will say her response out loud. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, boss. Yeah, he, he's the dedicated my uh, bot. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess questions as far as I got for you guys. So I'll, I'll go with one non two and I'll go with two Twiwi questions. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So first thing, I heard you guys are in the fighting games. Tell me a little bit about that. Because I do a little oh! bit on my channel. So oh, what you guys do. no. What you guys do? What's up? Oh, no. So, God. All right. For people who want to know more, more about us outside of the Twitter realm. Uh, so I, this might surprise you guys. Uh, I actually help run the biggest fighting game tournament in Ireland <laughs> called Celtic Throwdown. I'm there every year. I'm huge into the fighting game community. Uh, I turn them organized. I commentate. Uh, I even stream for them sometimes. Uh, I play a lot of fighting games any given time. Right now, I'm playing a lot of Guilty Gear, actually. A lot of Guilty Gear Exert, getting ready for Strive to come out. Um, that was nasty. Oh, nah, man. Nago. Nago. <laughs> Nago's a boy for me. Um, but uh, yeah, like I've, I've been part of the fighting game community for the last four or five years now, maybe longer. I love fighting games and love the community that is around them. I just love it's just like there's nothing quite like fighting games to me because like it's it's the hype. It's the commentary. It's just the there's it's something about two people facing off with similar skill levels, close matches, hype and just people f like fighting in fighting games with when they're within like striking distance, you know, but like yeah. it just makes it so tense for me. Like the fact that somebody can just reach over and just punch somebody, but they don't. But like. The salt, man. I love the salt of fighting games. I, I absolutely adore it. I love I love fighting games. That's this. In, in a nutshell, I love fighting games. It's like it's my other big passion. That's not to me. I don't know about you, Neku, but that's how I kind of feel about what it. What about you, Neku? How about you? So I've actually been into fighting games for a long time. Uh, I started with Smash Melee and I get myself Carpal Tunnel by playing that game so much. And I swapped over from there to the original Blaze Blue. I played mm -hmm. all of the Blaze Blues up to current. I am not playing Cross Tag. It's not a Blaze Blue game, and people can fight me on that opinion. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> ooh! 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 Flag on the play! Flag on the play! No, it's good. Getting a bit hot in here. I, I think I'm sweating. <laughs> I got a fan. Uh, I went from Blaze Blue to Dragon Ball, and I've kind of been on Dragon Ball for the last couple of years. Uh, outside of being a player, I'm not a top level player, but I'm definitely a very consistent TO. I've I've TO'd for Knights Climax, Gwinnett Brawl, AWA, AWA, like a lot of stuff in my home state of Georgia. I have been very very involved in my community i will always say one of my proudest moments is running a tournament and being the main tournament runner and i called for all friendlies to stop which if you've ever been to a fighting game tournament when the to calls for friendlies to cease you cease or something bad happens i called for them to stop i had a player shout no at me i pointed at him and said what's your tag he said his tag i said cool you're banned and the player thought Damn. i was joking he tried Damn. to go in for his game, and I said, nope, you didn't That's listen. Tough. You didn't get up. <laughs> Ooh. That, and from that see, point I forward, think... I had no issues with that. Holy shit. See, did you actually, like, did you not lift the ban at all? Is he, like, indefinitely banned because of that? No, I lifted it the next week. Okay, yeah, okay, good. No, okay. I, I kicked okay, him for the enough. full day, and he was actually, like, a high-level player. He was, like, oh, top five okay. contender. And I was like, no, if you're not going to listen to me, you're not going to play today. You can come okay. back next week. You'll be fine then. Damn, tough love. I respect that. I respect Nick that. Shot him in the corner. <laughs> said, "Damn, dude, U.S. players do not did. have respect for tos. Doesn't matter what mm. state you go to, U.S. players do not respect tos." Damn, yeah, it's a little different, a little bit. I know, I know, you play fighting games as well, right, Zeta? What do you? Yeah, playing? so, so okay, I, I play a little bit of everything right so games that i've competed in include um persona for arena uh i've competed in fighters i've competed in smash a lot of smash ultimate actually quite a bit of that because that's how i kind of got into the community really uh. of smash um so play that play tekken 7 like i said i literally play everything so if you name it most likely i play it at least to some degree yeah to the point where you get kicked out of bracket because you're 
other set is taking too long but dude it's I, okay if i was <laughs> if i was a to i would hate you like it's, yep. it's it's the worst shit when somebody like is in like seven games <laughs> in, in a tournament like oh my god it's one of my pet peeves with doing i like, remember yeah. doing i'm sorry like a, a very very big <laughs> tournament and it was like there was smash ultimate smash melee blaze blue central fiction and a few other games all at the same time and mm-hmm. sonic box had come down and he was in every single game like he literally signed up for every single game at that tournament and i was like how the hell am i supposed to run a bracket when you are constantly <laughs> running yeah yeah and the thing is, he's not like even the best. Like, he's probably going to get the top eight of each one of those tournaments. Like, that's a nightmare. He did. That's the terrible part. He did. Oh, God damn it. See, at that point, you have to DQ him from some saying, games. I, you I, have to top, to. I, I get to top 16 in where I'm at, Ohio. Um, I get to top 16, but yeah, at, at that point, it starts getting dicey. They're like, all right, so I'm going to have to drop you out of something if you keep going. I'm like, oh, like, I okay. can't I can't run a tournament until three in the morning because you decided to play Tekken, Smash, Blaze Blue and Dragon Ball. Please get up. <laughs> but they're all fun and, and they're all fun in different ways. That's the worst part about it. But anyway, yeah, so I, I'll probably have to venture into TOing then because, I mean, that, that seems like the next natural progression, you know. I yeah. love it. At the end of the day, I love being a T.O. Okay, I'll have to look it's, into it. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 hard work. It's 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 not easy. Um, I don't do it as uh, well. I do, I do, I do do it. Uh, like let me think of fighting games. That like I think this is the last comment I'm gonna do before we we have to move on. But uh, like I think for me, like I've definitely realized that I'm not really a player. Like I'm like I'm not really like if if uh, I was given the choice of like being a TO or a commentator or, or a player. Like players really low down on my priority list right now. Like I'm not, I'm not good at trying to be the best, uh, of course. you know, Granblue player or Dragon Ball player or whatever. I just don't have that fire. Like, cause when you, when you play top players, they have that fire of like every loss really stings. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And I feel like, I feel like if you have, to, if you, if you're a top player, like you have to, those losses have to hurt so that they push you to do better, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. And that's why I can't be a top player because I don't care that much about being the best. But I do care about, for example, commentating and like make sure people on stream have a good experience. I care about toing and make sure that the tournament runs smoothly. Like you know, there's other ways in which I help the FGC that isn't being a player. See that sound? See that sounds more than my speed too. I, I like that. Okay, you, you kind of sold that on me, both of you guys. Yeah. All right. This, 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 probably this the last this, question before. We all right. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the last question. Okay. I got you. This is cool though. Like I, I, I don't. We don't usually get questions. We're not usually on this side of the the table. So mm-hmm. Please. Okay, so if you were a reaper, what, what would your quirk be? Because mm. you guys always talk about food. Show. Oh, that's actually a hard question. God. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my quirk that's be. Actually, a hard question. Shit. What would my quirk be? Uh. So I should probably have to give an answer too, huh? You have to think about it too. You asked the question, you shot okay. yourself in okay. the foot. <laughs> so here's here's what I think mine would be. Um, so here's the thing, but here's a little thing about me. Um, I'm bad with my physical surroundings in general. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, like I'm directionally I'm okay, but like I have walked into poles, uh, bus mirrors, if it smacked me in the face. Um. Like just generally my positioning and like like especially when I'm thinking or focused on something, I'm bad at like knowing my physical surroundings very well. Um I feel like what I would do is I would just like like be just very easily ticked off and then go into like a blind rage and just like summon like twenty thousand small like frog noise at somebody, but then like send them all over the place and like have them all miss or something. You know what that, I mean? That, I pro- that's funny. I love that. Okay. Like I just get them, and then they all like go the other direction. Like I feel like that's that's what I would do. <laughs> I, I feel like I'd be super aggressive, but like I would also be like, I I don't I wouldn't know where to send them. I, I would know. I I would be very angry and very, but like I wouldn't know where to direct that anger. Is that, I feel like that's that no, would be my quirk. It, the, the the funny part is the second you'd calm down, you'd be the most dangerous reaper on the field. I could absolutely yeah. see that happening. I could yeah. too. 
Um, my quirk would be attention to detail. I am the polar opposite of Ahmed. I am hyper aware of my surroundings. Uh, I try to pay attention to everything around me. So it's one of those things where like if he and I were walking down the street and he was about to hit a pole, I'd pull him out of the way and he'd be mad at me. And I'd point at the pole and he'd be like, oh. Uh, my big thing is when when I start ent entering that hyper focus state, like when you play fighting games, you enter a focus state after a certain period of time where you can focus on nothing but the game. Yeah. Uh, for me, I would have, that would be my big thing. When I went entered that hyper focus state, I would be really, really dangerous, but I can't do it for long. It exhausts me so hard in real life. It's not even funny. So mm -hmm. my, my missions would be find this very particular thing and my fight would be, you have to keep up with me. That's hmm. funny. I like, I like that. Okay. Okay. So if, if I had, was a Reaper and I had to have a quirk, I guess my quirk would be to shorthand everything. Like I would say something, but it would be shorthand and said short. Like, I guess, like, instead of oh, saying just acronyms, everything. Name, yeah. Yeah. Just acronym, everything, or just, you know, if your name is like Amadeus, I'll just say Med. I'll say. <laughs> yeah, neck, I've noticed that. You know, just like keep that. it short. Neck. Just yeah. neck. So, yeah, so you see, like the. <laughs> no. <laughs> you see yes. the mission, and it's like three words, and you're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. It's literally an acronym. You have to decode the acronym to pass the mission. That would actually be hard. You have to uh, yeah, sure. You I'm just send that mission mail, and it's like G two ten four K by K by lol, <laughs> like something like that. <laughs> right, exactly like that. Like I think that would be, be what I would do. I like my that. has given an answer, Ahmed. Oh, oh, excellent. Hold on, let me. Uh, my, can you? Are you still there? Have Have you fallen asleep, Boo Boo? Uh, so, oh no, I'm still here. Uh, my question is, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, my, this is why I told him not to do the voice. My drink water. My drink water. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so, I'm, very, I'm a very uncomfortable person. However, I, I can be really bitchy. I, I feel like I would make a complicated mission, but I make a lots of traps, but let people win. I don't know what that means, but my traps would be for my own enjoyment, probably. Not really to do the mission properly. That's all I got, though. It, it it sounds like my would be the type of uh, reaper to make something stupidly complicated. And when people didn't figure it out, she let them win anyway because she feels bad that they're stupid. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's how that reads to me. Yeah, she just goes, "Yep." <laughs> just just the idea of it. Just you tried, but you failed, so I have to let you win. Mm hmm. That sounds about right. Uh, yeah, no, th those are good questions. Is there anything else you wanted to ask before we before we uh, we sign off here? No, but like once again, guys, I want to thank you, you guys, all you guys, for letting me on the podcast. Thanks for the drawings from Floral. Definitely check her out. Um, yeah, oh, let me grab that every time she's yeah, mentioned. We... I have to post it. Yeah, I should do. thank that. you, Floral thank you, Laurel. Yeah. again, back at it again with those. With the hot sprites, look at him! Look at him! Look at my man's. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks again. Uh, she, she again, once again, great work with these portraits. Like I look great in 4K right now, guys. Like that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. No, don't yeah. engage your sprites in 4K. Yeah, you know, it, it feels like it. But um, anyway, yeah, thanks again, guys, for having me on this. I mean, you guys are doing a great job. This is a great thing. Our community needed this for sure. Um. So yeah, just keep doing what you, what you guys are doing. I hope to be on another episode eventually. Maybe if, if not, that's fine. But I, I can't wait to see where you guys will go because you guys will go very far. Thank you, sir. That's the, that's very that's in, extremely kind of you to say. Thank you so much. And, and um, seeing this trio work is is a magical thing. That's all I have. To that say is too. that's <laughs> a thing. Like now that has kind of seen how we work behind the scenes and how messy everything is. So. Uh, it's 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 like what what did what impression did you get from how we work behind the scenes now that you've seen how this works? You know, ha have you ever worked in like a four by four cubicle? That's what it felt like with with four <laughs> people. It's kind of like that. 
You have to just some... figure it out and go from there. <laughs> it's just a constant barrage of, hey, that can you have that thing? Yeah. No, no, because you haven't sent me the thing I need to make you yet. No, where'd you put it though? Like, it's just, it's, that's what it is, 24 7. Like, and I'm just always. standing in the center, just looking around at everything going on. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Keep it up. <laughs> it's one of those things where when we get down to the wire, we get very focused and we get very, very productive. But if we're not down to the wire, we all forget things. <laughs> yeah, we got it done, though. We do. We got it done. We made it through a very successful podcast after the, the hiccups that were. And, pod- and as OBS did not crash again mid podcast. Thank you. Thank you. You shouldn't have said anything. End the podcast. End it. You shouldn't have said anything. End it. Uh oh. Have I jinxed myself? Uh, Okay. Uh, The uh, next uh, next podcast is on the fifth of June. Uh, Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Uh, That's what the next podcast is. That's what it is. Um, eight p.m. This is episode seven. This is the nor. This is episode seven. This is the normal podcast. We're going back to reviewing episodes. Yes. Uh, we're not. Yes. So uh, this was again. This was not episode. Seven. This was uh, sort of an interview series. Which, by the way, um, if you want to suggest a name for uh, this series, please do um, hit us up on Twitter. We now. Oh, we should mention. We'll talk about this more next week. But our Twitter has now become a fully dedicated Twitter for the podcast. So, twittercom slash tpewy underscore pr uh, for that. So, uh, if you want in, uh, please, 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 please. Uh, follow us there for all our news and for all the good t- uh, Twimmy news. Please follow our Twitter. I'm sure somebody will put it in chat. There you go. Um, uh, and also uh, from myself, uh, thank you much for watching. Uh, I'll be streaming The Will Ends With You on my own channel on Monday. So if you're interested in watching ones with you, that come by and watch see that. Um... Come check out our Twitters. That's where we'll be talking on anything. Check us, uh, support us on Patreon for some good benefits. Uh, we're just kind of starting it out, but uh, we do have our own uh, Discord channel for all patrons where we have been doing sort of uh, small games, not, not game nights quite yet, but we have been sort of voice chatting and having fun and chatting all kinds of smack in there. Uh, and also you get sort of um, first say on suggestions for the podcast and polls and all that kind of stuff. You get all the insider knowledge. Uh, there so please do if you can support us on patreon uh however um neku of course you can check out all his stuff uh i'm not sure neku are you streaming these days uh i've been cutting back on streaming i mostly have been focusing on uh back-end work for myself but you can definitely find me on twitter i'm definitely active there but i'm mostly focused on the podcast and on my real life work now so i'm not gonna be streaming nearly as much as i had been previously i might stream yes. 14 every once in a while but that's about it Perfect. Uh, and of course, Zeta Slow, uh, please do check him out on all of his links, uh, which uh, will be put, put in chat now. Uh, go check out his stuff. Really great guy. Also posts reactions to all the anime episodes on his YouTube. So if you want the, uh, a, uh, you know, I don't think uh, the opinions will get any better than, than our three opinions, but, you know, his opinions are also pretty good. Uh, they're, they're, they're close second. <laughs> they're a close second. <laughs> um, go check him out on uh, the YouTubes. However, for now, we'll see you guys next Saturday. Oh my god, it's weekly.